everybody. So we are on to day 10 of the 30 days of sketches with Christy's Beautiful Life. And uh, for day 10, this is the sketch we have. This was created by Brooklyn Ruff. I'm sorry if I said that wrong, Brooklyn. Um, this is a cute little sketch. It's very different than one that I have seen before. So I'm kind of excited about um, using this one this time. So this one consists of, it looks like one background sheet and then we have two photographs here off to the side um, some embellishment clusters here and here and then just a couple of strips of paper in the middle with a title down here on the bottom it looks pretty simple i know myself and i probably will not end up being as simple as this looks however um, we're going to give it a shot so what i have decided to use for this sketch today is um, a single shot kit that I got from the scrap room. This is Echo Park's Coffee and Friends collection. And so the papers that come with the collection are uh, this wood grain here. And on the back we have, um, what is that, like a chalkboard? Looks like a chalkboard to me. Uh, this paper is called letterboard, so I guess it's a letterboard. Oh yeah, one of the things you put the little letters on. I got it. So we have that. Next we have this beautiful floral, and this one is called Brewing Buds. I really like this floral. I think it's really pretty and cute. Um, and then on the back we have this kind of like a light, light blue slate gray color. It's like a bluish gray with these dashes on them. Really pretty. We have this beautiful like black and white plaid. X actually, I can't tell if it's, well, it's black, white, and gray. So, and this one's called Frothy Flowers. The back has these beautiful flowers on the green. So pretty. And we have the three by four journaling cards. We've got, it's like a pinky orange um, gingham here. And then on the back, we have the three by four cards about all things coffee. And then we have um, some uh, basil aloe vera cardstock, which I used actually to cut out a cut file. This is a Paige Evans cut file. I just wanted to show you um, the whole sheet, but um, this is Paige Evans. I cut this out previously. This took me a really long time. I don't know about uh, your cutting machine. I have a Cricut. And I don't know, but it doesn't cut very well. I've tried changing blades, I've tried changing settings, I've tried changing the type of cardstock, but it always just gives me these little areas that just don't look nice. So I don't know. You probably can't see it on the camera, but I can see it in person, it bugs me. So anyways, there's the cut file I cut. Um, as far as embellishments goes, um, the scrap room kits come with uh, little embellishments. I really don't know what I can use because I'm not going to be scrapping about coffee. I don't even drink coffee y'all so um, all of the coffee themed stuff is kind of useless to me so I may just use these things to tuck where you can't read what it says. They may be what I need to do at some point but um, I'll see what I can use if anything. I'm actually going to do a prom themed layout. Um, my son went to prom in 2018 and I have not scrapped. Um, his prom photos yet so I have one of him and his date and one of him alone and I actually picked this up from Hobby Lobby it was on sale and it actually goes with this like the pink she wore a black dress he wore kind of a blue suit so we've got our slate blue suit so we've got that slate blue in here and we've also got this pink on the background so and black so I think it'll work really well with those um, stickers. And then I have some flare that I might be able to match it. I was thinking maybe um, the green. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see if any of them work. Maybe just the pink at the end. Um, but that is what I have to work with. So what I'm thinking is, I'm thinking I want to use this wood green here for my background. And then for the strips in the center, my thought process were these, uh, this way, I believe, is what I was thinking. Um, we'll see, but that's kind of my thought process right now. And then I would like to use these, I'm going to do something a little different and put these um, in the background down here. 
I was gonna do it in place of one of these layers, but I kind of like the double look and then the, um, the cut file behind it. So that's kind of my plan. So let me go ahead and get this stuff cut down, um, get everything situated here so then we can go and we can figure out what I'm gonna use for decorations and matting and all of that good stuff, okay? So I'll be back in a minute. All right, so I've made some good progress just in cutting the pieces out. I went ahead and added a couple of mats just because I'm fancy like that and I felt like it. So I did um, the outer piece with the black plaid and then I did the pretty floral on the inside and then I have my wood grain here. I, I don't know if that's wood grain or what that is. I'm calling it wood grain. That's just going to be what I, what I say. I went ahead and layered up the center two pieces. I did switch around um, the floral um, with the plaid. I just thought that would be cute. So um, I just want to kind of up update you guys on that. And now I will speed things up and uh, we'll go ahead with starting to embellish and getting everything stuck down. All right, so the first thing that I wanted to do here was just ink up the edges of this white paper just a little bit so it stands out more against that uh, white, what I call wood cream background. I'm just using my Distress Oxides with Bundled Sage and um, I think it went pretty well. It just, you can't see it a lot, but it just gives a little distinction from um, that bottom um, printed paper. Sorry. Um, again, it's a little early in the morning for me to be f filming. I'm just doing the voiceover. I completed this page last night, so here I am trying to get my brain to work. Um, I'm going ahead and I am positioning the cut file. Again, this is a Paige Evans cut file of the two different floral pieces, and I think that it lended really, really perfectly to this sketch, uh, even though it was not included. In the sketch, I really think it worked well um, to kind of add just that little extra something that I felt like I needed uh, on the page. I'm sorry if you hear my dog barking. She wanted to come in with me, but I wouldn't let her come in since I was uh, doing the voiceover and she is now barking outside my door. So I apologize if you can hear her. Um, Generally, I don't care that much if things are straight on my page, but because that element down the middle was supposed to be right in the middle, I did measure it to make sure that it was exactly uh, five and a half inches at that center portion because um, my middle square is 11 inches and I wanted to make sure it was straight going down the page so that we could have this really cool um, sketch come to life. There's my two photos, the one of my son with his date I wanted to have on the right hand side because they were looking that direction and then he's looking forward in the one of him alone. So uh, that one worked well up at the top. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put some mats on this. I'm gonna start with the black plaid and then I'm gonna go and I'm going to put a second layer as you can see here with that nice green with the floral. I just wanted a bit more of the green to come out. And then of course we need a bit of pink, so I am going to use uh, the gingham, like that pinky orange. I didn't wanna use the floral one because I'm going to use those florals in just a minute. You're gonna see um, what I end up doing there. And I went ahead and scuffed up all of the edges. I let you guys see this one, uh, but I did not make you watch all of them as um, that took a little bit of time to get completed. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these photos situated. Um, I kind of debated like tucking them. You saw me kind of messing around with it earlier um, in between those two layers of the flower sheet and the plaid sheet, but then I decided to go with what the sketch had and I did it right underneath. And I like how there's just enough of that floral cut file showing through on the bottom. As you notice, I did not um, back that cut file. I wanted it to be just kind of subtle in the background. These, all of these papers besides the black are just so like, I, I don't even know how to say it. Like, um, I keep getting the word subtle in my mind, but that's not what I want, but they're just really soft, I guess, 
really soft and pretty colors. And so other than the black, I kind of just wanted to leave it that way. So I left the cut file unfilled. So now I'm going ahead with my title and I am using that sticker sheet that I got on sale at Hobby Lobby that says prom. And then I liked the little prom couple because I love that her dress matches the colors in the paper so well, even though my son's date's dress did not match that, but that's okay. She was wearing black. She matches everything else, but I really loved that little couple there. So I kind of put that with the title and then I put 18 because they went to prom in 2018 and I'm using some um, wood wood veneer um, and their stickers and I got those from Hip Kit Club in one of the embellishment kits at some point. I don't remember which month that was though. And I'm just continuing to add a little bit of embellishments, still kind of going from those stickers. I'm gonna end up using the entire pack except for the car. Um, that just didn't really fit the vibe I was going with. So I liked all the black and sparkly and pink, but I didn't want the big green <laughs> sparkly car. So I'm going ahead and adding that little um, sticker over there by my son's picture and it says best night ever. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take what I have left of that floral and I'm actually going to fussy cut out a bunch of flowers and leaves and um, it's gonna cut away in a second here when it comes back everything's gonna be already dry fitted um, the reason I did that off camera was because I was cutting them out as I was placing them because I wasn't quite sure how many I needed and I'm not the hugest fan of fussy cutting so I didn't want to do too many so um, I left this one flower in and there you can see everything is dry fitted I'm gonna go through the process of showing you how I layer up flowers that look the same so that um, you can get that dimension and um, texture to your page. So I'm starting out with that flower right there on the very bottom and I just glued him right down to, to the page. There's no foam under him, he's just gonna be flat, okay? And um, at this time I'm adding some dimensional foam to that big white one. Um, the white flowers I got from the green floral sheet that I just used as um, a mat uh, underneath the photos but I had a couple of nice white flowers and I decided to kind of showcase them so I put those up on foam this guy over here that I'm doing now I'm putting partially up on foam just so it's kind of sticking up just a little bit on the edge but the rest of him is tacked down flat because he's gonna be underneath the big white flower. I don't know why these flowers I am giving male gender. I It just felt right, so <laughs> this is what I'm doing. Um, this guy here is gonna go flat down again. I'm just like, so when I do these types of clusters that are a lot of florals, especially ones that are very similar in look, this is kind of what I'll do. Like strategically, I'll go around and I'll figure out which ones I want to be in the background or flat against the page and which ones I need to rise up on foam. So like the white one, I did the complete, the whole flower, it's it's the one that's on the top. So the whole thing is, is lifted up with foam. And I'm even gonna stick a little bit under the leaves now here because I didn't have any under that. I wasn't quite sure how I wanted them to lay but when I saw them against the flowers underneath, I realized I wanted them to pop up a little more than they were because they were laying a little bit flat and I wanted them to have a little more dimension. And then other flowers, like I said, I will add just a little bit to one side to kind of just help them stand up a bit, almost like they're curled up under the end and it gives a little bit of shadow and just a little bit of dimension. So here I am just finishing up, getting all of those florals tacked down. You don't have to watch all of it because it took me a little while to do that. Now I'm just shaking off all the little pieces of the backing of the adhesive that I have there. And then I decided I wanted a little bit more of that um, wood veneer around the page. So I took the little tiny hearts and I used them like um, I would use um, enamel dots around the page. And I really think it looks cute. I like. I like the wood element that um, it gave to the page in the end because um, I had enamel dots set aside that came with the kit, but I really like this better. I feel like it, I don't know, it just works well with that background page. 
and I just I really like the wood the wood look and plus I didn't want it to look silly with only having the wood for the letters or I'm sorry the numbers I thought about painting the numbers so that they didn't have the wood look but I liked it in the end and then I wanted to kind of spread it around the page okay so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to add a little bit of sprinkles in coral reef which is a really nice pinky orange just like the pinky orange <clears throat> excuse me in the flowers on the on the paper and so I thought that it would work really well just to kind of splatter a bit around where uh, the clusters are I'm not gonna go real crazy with it because that's just not the kind of layout that this one is um, I do tend to go a little crazy with my splatters but I want them just around the cluster areas and then I'm gonna put some up on that black plaid in the center because I almost wanted it to look like sparkly lights or stars above the little couple that are on the black plaid I kind of decided that last minute because it just looked really plain so I wanted to add it yeah like sparkly lights you know how they have it prom it's always all lit up and pretty and so I kind of wanted it to look like that or else the night sky so I added a few there and that's it for those um, in the end here I'm going to add one more thing before I'm done which is some Nouveau drops and these I'm gonna add a little bit like enamel dots I just wanted a bit more of that green spread around and so this is Nouveau drops and um, the color is bottle green and so um, I just add these in a few places around just to kind of give a little bit more attention to the green even though I have it in the cut file in the background I still just felt like I wanted some sparkly green so I added these a few places and um, once I get done a couple more areas that is going to be it and we will be at the slowdown this uh, page came together pretty quickly despite the fact that I had to wait for the cut file to be cut out and um, that I had to cut out the flowers so other than that everything was pretty quick and I really love those little wood hearts I think they are so cute and there's all the dimension of the flowers um, you can see it on both sides and all the little sparkly bits from the Nouveau and from uh, the shimmers I hope you all enjoyed this today and please check out the hashtag so you can see the rest of the people who are participating in um, this challenge and I hope you all join me next time. Bye for now.